हेलो फ्रेंड्स हमारा आज का टॉपिक है नो मैन इज़ एन आइलैंड बाय मीनू मसानी सबसे पहले हम इंट्रोडक्शन टू दी ऑथर स्टार्ट करेंगे मीनू मसानी वाज बोर्न इन 1905 ही वाज अ पर्सी पॉलिटिकल लीडर फ्रॉम राजकोट ही टुक एन एक्टिव पार्ट इन इंडिया स्ट्रगल फॉर फ्रीडम so he was born in 1905 he was a great parliamentarian and a member of the constituent assembly he was free india's most outstanding liberal he was free india's most outstanding liberal he was a barrister trained in london he joined the freedom struggle with the quit india movement He was the first to develop Indian political theories. He was a barrister trained in London. He joined the freedom struggle with the Quit India movement. Masani was the author of the popular book Our India. It is an all-time best seller. It was a prescribed textbook in school. even before the independence of india he believed in a mixed economy in a free and open society he delivered a series of lectures in 1947 to the school of economics of the bombay university so he delivered a series of lectures in 1947 freedom first was the magazine edited by him he opposed the emergency in india and went to court against censorship of the press he loved the company of the young people his first and last books were written for the young so let's start with summary of the essay It is the essay Minu Masani gives a very broad vision of the future of mankind. He believes that the future race will be a better and more intelligent race. It is the essay Minu Masani gives a very broad vision of the future of mankind. He believes that the future race will be a better and more intelligent race. it will merge all states and empires into a world federation it will work for a fuller and richer life for each human being a sanskrit verse has helped us to become better men a sanskrit verse has helped us to become better men it teaches the lesson of service and sacrifice each individual will be free to express himself and to grow and develop his personality in his own way so it teaches the lesson of service and sacrifice each individual will be free to express himself and to grow and develop his personality in his own way alexander pop says that only fools curl over the forms of government he gives the first place to efficiency only the wearer knows where the shoe pinches people are the best judges of a government they should decide which kind of political shoe they want to wear people are the best judges of a government they should decide which kind of political shoe they want to wear a good government should serve the greatest good of the greatest number it should provide to the people the nicest homes and best food the finest education and plenty of leisure a government should serve the greatest food of the greatest number it should provide to the people the nicest homes the best food 
द फाइनेस्ट एजुकेशन एंड प्लेंटी ऑफ लेजर इट शुड प्रोवाइड प्लेंटी ऑफ फ्रीडम एंड रिस्पेक्ट टू एवरी मैन एंड वुमन इट कम्स नियरेस्ट टू डेमोक्रेसी इट शुड प्रोवाइड प्लेंटी ऑफ फ्रीडम एंड रिस्पेक्ट टू एवरी मैन एंड वुमन इट कम्स नियरेस्ट टू डेमोक्रेसी Abraham Lincoln has defined democracy as the government of the people for the people and by the people the government is responsible to the people Abraham Lincoln has defined democracy as the government of the people for the people and by the people the government is responsible to the people very easy language you just try to understand it can be replaced by another if the majority of the people so desire it works for the greatest good of the greatest number it can be replaced by another if the majority of the people so desire it works for the greatest good of the greatest number it aims at providing liberty equality widespread education and a rising standard of living the success of a democracy depends upon the wisdom or foolishness of the common people it aims at providing liberty equality widespread education and a rising standard of living the success of a democracy depends upon the wisdom in this sense it is said that a nation gets the type of government it deserves in this sense it is said that a nation gets the type of government it deserves in dictatorship the government has total control over the lives of the people it is one man rule he dictates and orders everything in dictatorship the government has total control over the lives of the people it is one man rule he dictates and orders everything वेरी ईजी लैंग्वेज बिना हिंदी ट्रांसलेशन के आप इसे समझने की कोशिश कीजिए हिज विल इज द लॉ ही कैन डू नो रोंग द स्टेट ऑन्स एंड रन इंडस्ट्रीज ऑल ऑपोजिशन इज डिस्ट्रॉयड बाई फोर्स और डेथ द कॉमन मैन हैज नो फ्रीडम टू स्पीक राइट और थिंक all opposition is destroyed by force or death the common man has no freedom to speak write or think the dictator is all powerful dictator is all powerful liberty and equality are distant dreams everything is lost and nothing is gained in dictatorship इस ऐसे को इस चैप्टर को मैंने हिंदी में ट्रांसलेट नहीं किया है क्योंकि ये बहुत ही इजी लैंग्वेज है और आप धीरे धीरे इसी तरह से अगर पढ़ेंगे तो आपको हिंदी ट्रांसलेशन की ज़रूरत नहीं पड़ेगी आई होप आप इसको इस वीडियो को बार बार सुनेंगे ताकि आपको इंग्लिश टू इंग्लिश समझने की हैबिट हो जाए थैंक यू फॉर वॉचिंग दिस वीडियो